life is a game that people take way too serious. Play your role. Keep on rolling. Keep on moving. That's it. That's all there's to it. What should I do? You know, like, <laughs> I could focus on so many different areas in life. Everything is a rabbit hole. And it's fine because <laughs> I, it's about me. And it's about you. It's about everybody. It's about the perspective. Perspective of things. Because <laughs> there's sitting the genie and everything. The rabbit hole is everywhere. And I don't want to leave my bubble. But I can tell you for sure that I was leaving my bubble. I was leaving my bubble. And I figured it out. You know what I found there? I found out. I found in. That there is no thing. There is nothing. It's an empty hole. And there are fractals sitting everywhere. I could go into, into every little detail. Like, here, this detail, here, here, here. Where is another detail? I could zoom into every aspect. And it's, that's what the perspective is. And that's why I keep, could keep on repeating myself here. That it's about the observation of your reality, of your surroundings, through your own senses. And this is why cleanly, cleanliness is next to godliness, so this is why it's so important to... Well, for me, it doesn't have to be the same for you, because it's about my perspective, not yours. But to get to source code, which everybody, funny enough, has, most people don't want to access it, then it's it's about the cleanliness of the senses. Now the the fastest and the the purest way to cleanse the senses will be Shivambukalpa. That means you put piss, urine, plasma ultrafiltrate, which is cleaner than your blood, into your portals, into your senses, into your holes to become whole or holy that you can start to observe your reality in a very clean fashion. And I could just keep on mirroring myself here, basically. Maybe it's for you, maybe not. I don't know, maybe... I don't know who is who's really truthful to that degree, who, is, who has that perspective of things. But basically it's not about this, because it's about the creational aspect of my own world, of my own words that are rambling out of my mouth. So I just create my auric field through this. And because I share it into the ether, into the ether, I just, I just destruct and reconstruct the whole realm. The whole realm. Because I'm sitting on the top. I'm sitting on the top of my superconscious. I'm above my superconscious and this is why I can construct reality in the fashion that I construct it. So for me, this is basically a very much a clown show. This is very funny to me because people, but beings, not people, take life way too serious. And of course, I would also take, I am, I am taking life sometimes way too serious because, because I am not sourced. And sourcing means that I know that I'm the black hole which dissolves everything, which destroys everything. Because everything that I put basically in myself is just dissolving into the mist, into the mystic. So I, I'm the oven, I'm the fire, I heat up everything which gets inside of me. This is alchemy. And this is why I can, it doesn't matter it does not matter what I ingest because I burn it off. And the, one of the fastest way to do that is basically that I hold my urine in my mouth. Because I get a constant feedback into my body on the, the dots from, from, from the dots under my tongue, on the spitting aspect of the Kundalini snake. 
That's why if I open up my mouth, there is not coming shit out. I don't talk shit. I talk pure wisdom and that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I speak, when I speak, what I, what I want to speak about. I'm out of time. Time is not really existing to me <laughs> because I'm the source, period, period. <laughs> and if I, like, if I do this, everything changes. This is what real power is. Because I'm the electromagnetic conductor of the rounds. Well, what the fuck is this guy talking about? You, 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 you're in mushrooms? You're not, not you, you're on ayahuasca, right? Or did you smoke the DMT? What that kind of psychedelics did you take, yo? But if I would tell you that it, I, it, that I just had some, I don't know, dates today, dates with myself. I had water, coffee, some supplements, and some shivam kalpa. And I'm just disciplined with the things I speak about. And I'm just very brilliant in my brain. And I have the strength and courage to share openly what I'm thinking. This is what it is. And this is what it will be in future for everybody that will get into the perspective of mirroring themselves into the ether. And this is beep, how we basically construct the whole realm. Through this, this thing here, you hear this? Everybody's beeping and barking and whatever. There are so many things going on simultaneously. And I, it's about sinking, like in a DJ. You sink all the different senses that you have into one perceptional image, imagination of yourself. It gets all into my brain through my eyes, my nose, my mouth, my skin, my feet, my, uh, my nose, right? So this is what like real observation is. Or real well I mean what is real I don't know what real what really real is <laughs> what is I don't know what is what is up for you this is your world this is your realm you construct your reality you can't change what the fuck is occurring on the other edge of the world but well, certainly you can if you become very conscious and if you know how the game works it's a game so inform yourself about the rules and if you know how the rules are working if you get into the ruler you rule it right so the ruler is is your spine if you're very good with your spine you can like change everything basically because your spine is the tower of God. So I just keep on moving my spine and I listen to vinyls, old school music, music aurum fields, ingesting my plasma and being freaking brilliant. This is how I just mirror my own world into existence. And it seems very maybe tripolar, bipolar, 360 polar to you that I'm just a freaking maniac, depressed in compressed this cell phone. But basically, it's my cell phone. It's my cell phone that I speak and I just keep mirroring because I know it's valuable and it's truthful. And if, you, if it is for you, you can empower yourself to your degree of sanity to see your reality in these humble words bang bang